In this video, you are going to learn how to set up your first TikTok ad step by step. Let's jump right in. The first thing you will need in order to run TikTok ads is a TikTok ads account. If you don't already have a TikTok ads account, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. It will have a link with the latest offer or incentive that TikTok is running. You can see right now you can get up to a thousand dollars in ad credits. It's an incentive that they're running. So I'll be sure to keep that updated with the latest incentive. So check that out down below to sign up for your account. Signing up for an account literally takes about 30 seconds to a minute. So be sure to do that and then follow along in this video. Once you create your TikTok ads account, you'll be taken into a view that looks something like this. And we are wanting to come over here to the campaigns tab so that we can create our first campaign. We're going to hit on this little button right here that says create, and then it will drop us into our TikTok ad objective. Now, if you aren't familiar with TikTok ad objectives, I have a full video covering all of these different objectives here. You can check that out in the link down below. But for now, we are going to choose the traffic objective and we are going to stick with the manual campaign. This gives us the most options to customize and get the best results here. For the campaign name, you can name this whatever you like. I like to name this prospecting traffic, but like I said, you can name it whatever you want. Here for the special categories, if you are not in one of these three categories, you leave this unchecked and then you can leave all these other boxes unchecked as well. And then we're going to hit continue from here. TikTok will take us into our, the ad group settings. We'll come back to the name here in just a minute after we choose all of our settings, the optimization location. Most people are going to want to do website. If you want to send them to an app or your TikTok shop, you could do that. But most people, my guess is you're going to send them to your website here under placements. We want to select placements and we want to make sure that we're only showing on TikTok. We don't want to show up on any of these other two platforms. This is going to get you the best results possible. And then here under advanced settings, leave all of these checked as well, just as they are. Are. Now, when it comes to targeting, there are two different ways that you can do this. You can either leave this options as it is and let do what's called broad targeting where TikTok finds your audience for you, which honestly does produce really good results because TikTok has a lot of data on people and it will read the ad and kind of figure out the best people to show that ad to. So that is option one. If you go with option one, you can see TikTok will give you an idea of what the audience availability looks like here in the top right corner. And if that's what you're wanting to do, all you need to do is scroll down and then start over here in the budget and scheduling. But if you are wanting to actually target specific users, let me show you some of the settings that you can do to hit specific people. So the the product for this campaign is some barrel baggy jeans targeting women. So the location we're going to be doing is the United States here. You can click this and choose the place that you want to target. Next, we have the age demographic. For me, I know that people, the women who are buying these are between 18 and 45 to 55. I want this to only hit female. So I'm going to choose that there. Any language is fine. Spending power. We're going to leave this on all spending power and household income. And then here inside of the audiences, this is where we can get a little bit more tricky with the targeting. If you have an email list here, you can upload it and exclude audiences of people who have purchased or target people who have purchased. But for most people, you're going to want to come down here to this interest in behavior. And this is where you can type in keywords related to your product or service and see kind of what pops up. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in jeans and we're going to see what kind of targeting options we have. And this is really good. You can see here, there are search results and people who are interested in pants and jeans, but here I like this one, pants and jeans purchase intention. So whenever you can find purchase intention for your specific product service, that's the one that you're going to want to target. So I'm going to target pants and jeans and then also jeans here. And you can see, it's going to tell me that my audience is a little bit narrow, but that's totally fine. Cause I know these are the people who are likely going to buy my product. Now, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on that targeting and the different settings inside of here. I have a full tutorial on that down below in the description as well. So now we're going to scroll down here and you can target by device, but honestly, most of the time I keep this on all, I keep connection type on all as well. And then the device price, any price as well. And then here in the daily budget. Now it is important to note with TikTok ads, you do need to have a minimum budget of $20. You see, if you try to go under $20, it will say you need to do at least 20 here. So it does need to be a daily budget of $20. I like the daily budget. You can do a lifetime budget if you want to, but I like daily that way I can pause it and keep it running as long as I want. Then we're going to have our start time here. And you can also set an end time if you want wanted to, but we're just only going to have the start time running. And then we can set specific days that we want our ads to run, but we're going to keep ours on all days here. And these two settings we're going to leave as they are. And then what I like to do is come back over here to the ad group name. And I like to rename this based on my targeting here. So you can see, I just named this us because we're targeting the United States 18 to 54, because that's the age range we're targeting and then purchase intent jeans. Once I have that, then I can hit continue here and go on to the ad settings. We are going to leave this box unchecked here. Then you can name your ad. And then now is the time where you upload your ad creative, where you can upload a video or choose something from your library. Now this is where a lot of people get tripped up and where a lot of people have questions and they ask, how do I actually create a TikTok ad? Well, there are kind of three different ways that you can create a TikTok ad. One, you can do it yourself. The tool that I recommend using that for is CapCut to edit the videos. The option two is you can hire creators to do it. The tool that I like to use for that is Billow or Fiverr. And option three is you can use AI. This is what I've been using the most lately. And the tools that I like to use for this is Creatify or InVideo. I have links to all these down below in the description so you can check them out if you wanted to. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this ad right here. Just right over my sneakers. The denim's soft, but bolted shape so they don't get baggy. I can wear them with a 
Okay, so you can see that is 100% AI. All I did was give it this image here and it created it for me using this tool. So we're gonna take that video and we're going to upload it inside of here. We're gonna click this. We're gonna grab this. We're gonna grab our file real quick. All right, so you can see we uploaded our video here. We're gonna hit upload now and continue and confirm that. So now we have our video ready to go here, but if you wanted to grab one of your TikTok posts and actually upload them in here, I can click on this. These will be blurred out, but you can scroll through and you can find any TikToks that you've posted and actually run those as ads as well. We're gonna come back over here to the creative library. We're gonna confirm this. We're gonna go with the one that we just uploaded here. You can see this is what our ad looks like actually in the platform. All right, next you need to choose your identity. If you wanted to change the identity, you can link the TikTok ad account right here and then click this and then it will give you instructions on how to link up your TikTok ad account. Next, you can check this box to show through ads only. If you want this to only show up on ads and not show up on your organic profile, you wanna leave this box checked. Most of the time I am doing that. And then automatic creative. If you want to have TikTok customize some of your creative, you can leave this checked here as well. You can see if you hit customize here, this is what it will do. It will do video quality and music refresh as well. I like to keep this on to let TikTok change some things and test different things inside of the ad. All right, and then we wanna add some quick text here. You have a hundred characters and then you can customize your call to action. So you want to click this and make sure that only the ones that are applicable are checked. So we're gonna go through and do that real quick. All right, so for shopping, we just did order now, shop now, and a visit store. You wanna add as many of these as a, that are applicable so that TikTok can change them and test them to see which CTA gets you the best results. Then if you had product variants, you could click the product name and add different images here. Say like blue shoes, red shoes, things like that. But most of the time you're not gonna worry about that. And then here you want to add your destination URL. And next you wanna make sure you have the rights to the music. So check this box and then leave this box right here unchecked and then hit publish all and you are good to go. If you're looking for a more full in-depth tutorial on TikTok ads, be sure to check out this video right here and we'll see you in the next one.